What is up everybody? Dan's Midwest Angling here and today, this is a big one, we're going to be installing these bad boys. Bow mount and transom mount. Let's do it. The first thing we need to do is throw on the stern saver or transducer mount. That's gonna go right there. Now, I should have done this yesterday, but I bought a camper. Let's see what's inside. The applicator. Got the block itself. And some instructions. Some alcohol wipes. Make sure the surface is clean. Some sandpaper rubber gloves, and here's a template. I'm going to also suggest getting painter's tape. What do the five fingers say to the face? What? Tyler Murphy! I'm sorry, Tyler Murphy. It was an accident. I was having too much fun. So this is where our starting battery is going to go. In most applications, it would be recommended to run a separate battery for your electronics, but in order to save space, we're going to get by by just using the starting battery. If you have a normal bolt, like a bass bolt, you're going to already have a channel to run your graph wires through, but in this particular boat, we had to engineer our own. We covered how to do this in a previous video. I'll put a link up in the right-hand corner. Basically, this conduit is what we're going to pull wires through. The manual says that you can use 14 gauge wire up to 36 feet. Reading some forum posts, that just ain't gonna cut it. So I picked up 10 gauge by the foot at Home Depot. And they didn't have black, so we're just gonna use white for a ground wire. So basically we're gonna use these old wires to fish the new wires through. Now on your power wire, the brown and blue wire are pretty much useless unless you're trying to connect to an old fish finder, so we're going to snip those off. Alright, so I really didn't film this part because it's going to be real specific to your boat, but basically I just took electrical tape from around the end of the conduit and used the, some of this flex tubing, added another layer of waterproofing. And I didn't zip tie it, I just used this piece of Velcro. That way, if I need to change a fuse or get into these wires, it'll be really easy to do, and yet it is gonna be out of the way. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the mount mounted.
time you install your ferrite ring like this, screws are going to be in the bag that has the transom mount. When we're setting up this transducer, if your trolling motor is permanently mounted, this really isn't going to apply to you, but if you have it on a quick release bracket like I do, then you need to remember that the length of your cable needs to accommodate you taking the trolling motor off. Remember when you're doing this that this is some pretty sensitive equipment, so make sure that you don't torque these screws down too hard. Make sure the rounded part is going forward. Now on a power drive trolling motor, this is the part that actually steers it. So you can't take the transducer cable and zip it to the shaft because it's gotta go, this has gotta be able to slide all the way up. So what I did is I've got a zip tie here because this position is never going to change with the orientation of the head. So see, this looks really sloppy. As you're deploying it, see, so it's not going to catch on anything. And as you're turning, it's got plenty of slack to be able to completely turn around. That's what you want. Trust me, you're going to want that space. Well, I'm telling you, fellas, you're going to want that cowbell. Now in my unboxing video, I mistakenly said that this was for the power wire. This is not. This is for the transducer wire. Okay. And this whole ring allegedly slips on like that. Orange to orange. Now normally, you would put small ring connectors on these bar but since we have basically nothing else electronic happening in this boat we're just gonna put ring connectors on that go straight to the battery and since these are fused on each end I'm just gonna put them on the same ring connector to save some space
this through the drain hole. There's a little nub right here that has to go in that hole. out a level and get real technical about it but this boat's not sitting correctly on the trailer it's not centered and I mean my slab in my garage might not be level so we're just gonna kind of eyeball it get where we want to go and live with it now you want to make sure that your screws won't go all the way through because the whole point of this thing was so you don't poke any holes in your boat Great success! So yeah, when you first start up your Garmin, it's gonna go through a bunch of options. We're in the United States, we speak English, I hope. Don't get stuff. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love it. And that's it. It's really easy. You can save yourself hundreds of dollars by installing these things yourself. You do not have to pay a store to do it. It's simple. And then, when you're done, do yourself a favor and go down to Harbor Freight. Pick up one of these cheap cases. The good thing about the garments is you can pop them right out of the cradle. You can cut this foam out. In this particular case, you actually don't even have to cut them out. It's perfect. So if you'd like to see more Lund SSV related content, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.